And I began to notice things happening around this thing called the section of women in psychology. And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting and curious. And they did a swap institute, maybe 83, 84, something around there, um, that had some title that intrigued me. So completely out of curiosity, I attended this thing. Um, now, having never read anything in the psychology of women or knowing any of these people. Um, and I went to that institute and um, just you know, sort of sat there hearing some stuff. Well, oh, it's interesting that people do research on these kinds of things and so on. And not knowing a, a person. No, wow. I didn't speak a word from the time I registered until lunchtime because yeah. I was very shy. I didn't know anybody. I didn't know enough, enough about the field to ask questions or whatever. But anyway, at lunch hour, you know, met a few people and started talking. So, you know, so I should join if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And I had come across this study somewhere. God knows. I actually think it was in some of the um, support materials that they provided for teaching okay. about gender bias. And sort of did a little study replicating this to just curious at how it would turn out gender bias and students' ratings of essay. So that was the first thing that I had ever done of that sort. Huh. And joined SWAP, started yeah. reading their newsletters, and then joined the division mm -hmm. of APA and started mm -hmm. reading the Psych of Women. Oh, wow. So that's where that's the, kind of when you made the shift into that. It well, started to shift. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, did a couple of other things, not not much, but I was just mm -hmm. going and do you remember Becoming who you met at SWAP at, at those, that, that first meeting who encouraged you to kind of join? Well, um, actually, uh, not the only one person in particular, and the reason was that, as I said, I did, I'm yeah. not a person there. Yeah. And then, I would be different now if I was in a situation like that, I would go up and start conversations with people, but I wouldn't then. And uh, they, lunch was included, and so people went off into another room, and people were you know, picking their tables and sitting with people, and I quite clearly, this was in Winnipeg, uh -huh. and I quite clearly remember standing there and looking around the room and not knowing what to do. And I was, I think I was about 45 seconds from turning around and walking out and just going somewhere to grab a sandwich and coming back for the afternoon sessions when Eleanor Ames uh -huh. Uh -huh. saw me standing there and said, would you like to join us? Now. Even I, as a cognitive psychologist, but because I knew so many of the developmental people, I knew who Eleanor Ames mm -hmm. was, and I was just odd that this wow. well-known person did this for me. Mm -hmm. So she invited me to sit there, introduced herself, asked me who I was, and started chatting, and then as people came to the table, she introduced me. Great. So I will never forget that. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. I don't, I, and I don't know whether I ever told Eleanor that story or not, I can't remember, because I did meet her. You don't get to know her over the years. Yeah. So that was the turning point. Mm -hmm. And then, so I met whoever was at the table mm -hmm. and then talked more to people over the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And probably Eleanor and whoever else was sitting at the table yeah. sort of encouraged me. So then I started. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you start to meet people. Yeah. yeah. And then I met um, one, a, a, a woman came to work in Sydney as a clinical psychologist who also belonged to the section. And we actually met socially okay. before I found out. So in 1989, 1988, when they were talking about uh, SWAT, or CPA was going to be in Halifax in 89, she, being much more outgoing than I, said it, there was nobody in Halifax who was volunteering to organize the SWAP Institute, and uh, Susan said, oh, Joanne and I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it ended up, I organized the yeah. institute yeah. because she kept getting too busy. <laughs> And once you do something like that, then yeah. people come, you really get to know everybody comes and talks to you. Yeah. And then so I then was, you know, did Stintz's newsletter editor right. and so on and so forth. Yeah. 